Yeah, guys, um, Luminar Technologies update. Today is 2nd December 2024. Coming up to 21 minutes past 5 a.m. UK time. And the question is, guys, would you buy more Luminar Technology stock after the split? Um, went up a little bit but the problem is with Luminar Technologies ticker LAZR is that because the company's doing so bad it makes it difficult to you know to basically invest Swing trade is possible with Luminar Technologies, but the problem is because it is split now, and you see the stock, which would have been a one, it was around one dollar. That's about ten, obviously ten dollars after the split. But that, there's the chart. Like we're looking at the one day chart, with Luminar, and as you can see, it was. It was 12 well one dollar 20 cents the problem is after the split there's more downside it can go down a lot more you know it can go down towards five dollars now so the potential downside is greater now than it was before the split if that makes sense that's the problem because the company's in trouble. Um, obviously, and the amount of the split is quite large. So that would suggest that obviously they had to keep it over a dollar, right? But they didn't want to split it to two dollars or three dollars, you know. They didn't want to push the price up to three dollars like after the split or four dollars it was it's a lot higher right x10 so which like gives it some leeway somewhat but the thing is look how much it's fallen by that's like say it was at a dollar what is 20 almost 20% down already from the low where it was. Um, so it's just not looking good for a long-term investment at the moment. It's not looking good. As I said, there's more downside. There's more, I think there's more bad news to come. I mean, bankrupt, bankruptcy, it's hard to say. It's hard to say if it would go bankrupt, but it's looking at the stock prices heading down. And this split doesn't help. I mean, it helps keep the company up. Like, obviously, keep keeps the company with a chance, but who's going to invest in it? Let's change the chart onto... There's a one week chart, just squeeze it. You see how it looks, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? After the split, when you see these prices. But, you know, the situation's bad. As I say, there's more down to come. Um, that's the way it's looking. That's the way it's looking, guys. Now, obviously, the price, the market, I don't think the pre-market's open for this. Though. Price closed at, or was it 885, right? Because it's Monday, the trading's not open. It could go down to $5 over time, even lower. I mean, it could even go back down to a dollar. 
And this is after a split. This is after a split, guys. So, you know, because of the, the number of the split was high, that shows that the company's in trouble. I'll just change it to the one month chart. That's how it's looking on a one month chart. Change it to 10 minutes. See if the market, right, pre market is not open. It's not showing pre market uh, for this on this account, on this trading platform anyway. But <clears throat> as I said, it can go down to $5. So I don't, personally, it's not financial advice, but I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be trading it. I wouldn't be trading it. This uh, Lazar Luminar Technologies. That's the one hour chart. Pull it back to the one day chart, Luminar Technologies. You see the situation. This is on the one day chart, right? So we had that rise there. It was like, what? On 50. Yeah, I think it's gonna go down lower. Not financial advice, but it's not looking good, is it? There's no, you know, there's no hopes really. There's no signs of hope for Luminar Technologies. And I think people got in, people had that little bit of a pump there. They made a bit there, some hope, and then it was like the bottom fell out. You know, so it's a bad sign. It's just that the point is, it's, it's that now because it's eight eight dollars eighty five. There's more downside to go. You know, it's heading for five in my opinion if not lower, not financial advice, but, you know, it's a bad situation for car manufacturing in America, right? Cost of living's going up, talking about trade wars, talking about tariffs on, you know, bricks and other countries, bricks countries and other countries. People want cheaper vehicles from China, right um and you've got companies going under and american companies uk companies you know like so the situation is not good where they're gonna who's gonna adopt their products luminar technologies right so the problem is is you can't for me, it doesn't look like a good situation as a swing trade for Luminar Technologies. Can you imagine, like, if you bought, right, let's say you was you had stock here and then you sold it up here a bit, right? So, And it's fallen here. If you buy it, if you would have bought here, thinking it's going to go up again, you know, and then it sinks again, sinks. What you're going to do? Lo loading up into a bottomless pit. If it goes to five, you'd be, you'd be giving back all your profits that you made. And don't forget, there's not been a lot of pumps. There's not been a lot of upside. I mean, if you bought here sold up here bought here sold up here you would have done that a few times 
I've got a big rise here, but if you now bought in again at here, and then it goes down and you buy more and you buy more, you buy more, you're just like filling the black hole, giving back all your profits, basically, my opinion. Because if this falls now to five, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna buy more Luminar technologies? You know? And then what happens if it falls to three, 350, heading back towards $1, $2? with loads like you know after the split what are you going to do like it's a dire situation where's the contracts you know you've got um car manufacturers creating their own lidar technology this is run out of contracts like where's the contracts it's got no contracts and then they're talking about going into aerospace well they wouldn't bother going into aerospace if they were like killing it with the uh, car manufacturer contracts it's just a red herring aerospace no one's going to invest in a company you know aerospace they're not gonna if they if they can't do it make it with cars Right, if Luminar Technologies can't make it with cars, aerospace, they wouldn't want to touch them, right? Wouldn't want to touch them. It's just my opinion, guys. Anyway, it's no good for me. Not even for a swing trade. Not, not now, not after the split. As I said, there's more downside. There's potential of more downside, right? Don't know if I made a video on it or I was going to get around to making a video of it, but I may have mentioned it in another video. I may have mentioned Luminar Technologies. But as I said, there's more down, downside. I could have said it. I think I did say it in a different video on a different stock. It would have been around about here. I said that there was more downside to come after this split. But now I'll say it now, directly, about Luminar Technologies. I think they've abandoned it. I think the company have abandoned it. Luminar Technologies, the people behind it, I think that's it. It's game over. You know, so for me, I won't be buying. I don't know what you're going to do, but I think it's good. Good night, Vienna, for this company, Luminar Technologies. I'll make another video on it to wrap it up, but it doesn't look good at all.